Welcome to another episode of Trending Niches. This week we've got tons to talk about. There's quite a few niches that are trending, both on Amazon and on Redbubble. And we've also got trending niches which you shouldn't be entering. So that's also very important to note. And it's what we're going to talk about first. So the first niche that you're going to see trending extremely well, not just for the next few days, but probably for a long time now, for a few weeks or months, is Elizabeth II or, or the Queen of England who just died, rest in peace. This is one that I would totally stay away from at least in terms of much for Amazon because even if you were uploading like a very basic design with her face and a, and a British flag, I think this is going to get rejected nevertheless. Um, it has to do with human tragedy, which Merch for Amazon doesn't allow. That's why uh, this is one to stay away from. You'll see tons of t-shirts selling well and jumping in, in BSR. But yeah, be wary of this niche. It is definitely not safe. Uh, I'm pretty sure this will get some accounts terminated if you try and get some sales with this. And another niche that's going to peak in sales over the next couple of days is Never Forget or 9-11. This is one that always does well every year round, once again due to human tragedy. Sometimes you might be able to upload designs to this niche, but they will most likely get removed. It's something that Amazon doesn't allow, and that's why I just wanted to make you aware of that. I know most people probably already know of this not being safe, but if you're someone who saw these t-shirts selling well and wasn't sure, then this is your confirmation to definitely not upload anything to this niche. And the first niche I'm going to share with you, which is actually safe to sell in, is Dot Day or International Dot Day, which is on September the 15th. And Dot Day designs are seeing a, a massive uptick in sales. I didn't see any of these uh, along the top sellers a week ago when I did my last episode, but if we look at the BSR ranks now, we've got 15K all the way up to 40K, and that's the first row, which is really, really good. So uh, Dot Day Designs definitely doing well. I know these are quite tedious to create, but that is also a good thing in the sense that a lot of people will see this niche and will probably say, oh, I can't be bothered to create a design like that. It'll take me forever. So there's a higher barrier to entry in a sense to creating designs for this niche. If I had to create a design, I would probably, for those of you who are using Adobe Illustrator, I'd probably find a silhouette of uh, an animal or an object uh, that you wanted to cross niche this topic with, then change it from fill to stroke so that you just get the outline and then I'd just go ahead and sort of place lots of circles within that outline, just like most of these designs are uh, basically built. And yeah, it's probably going to take you some time, but you might have a bit less competition because not as many people will try and do the same thing. So definitely a very well selling niche at the moment and you've still got a couple of days until this trend is over. Niche number two is Creep It Real. This one is a bit confusing to me because I don't know where it stems from and I've looked on Google, I've looked through trademarks, I cannot find anything wrong with this niche and uh, I'm not sure why it's doing so well because this t-shirt on the left is literally the best selling sort of non-branded t-shirt design on Merch by Amazon at the moment. If we click into this as well, um, it shows you right here, first new release in boys novelty clothing. It's got a 6,000 BSR, which is crazy. It has no reviews, which is another indicator that this is very new. It was listed August 24th, so literally just a, a couple of weeks ago, right? And the brand is Retro Halloween, which once again, doesn't appear to be anything like a like an official brand on Amazon. The trademark check shows that Creep It Real is not in fact trademarked and this listing looks pretty clean anyway in terms of all of the, the keywords they used. And it's essentially always the same style of a ghost with a beanie and usually it's skateboarding as well. And we've got different variations on, on black t-shirts, on white t-shirts. So yeah, this is a Halloween niche doing really well and seems to be a fairly new topic as well because all of these are recently listed. So definitely worth looking into. And moving on, uh, next up we've got what I'd call niche number three, but it's not really a niche. It is literally just one t-shirt design style that's suddenly doing extremely well that I had to point out to you. So I typed in butter stick right here and it just comes up with one result. But even if you type this into Amazon, you don't really get any other options that look the same. Uh, we've got, if we scroll down further, some other butter themed t-shirts, but I have not found a singular one that is similar to this style right here. And if you're as confused as I was when I first saw this design, it has to do with some sort of packaging. I'll put a picture on screen where it's easier to cut the, the butter into equal slices or 
or something like that. So I think it is meant to be a funny Halloween design. That's what it says in the description at least. This Halloween be a stick of butter like that one in your refrigerator. So it's a funny idea. It's turned on its side as well to make it a bit more interesting. And here we are looking at the BSR graph. So this design has been around for a bit longer. It's not brand new, but looking at the BSR just over the past few days, it has jumped from 500,000 all the way up to 15K in a single day. And I'm not sure why this is the case. Maybe they are running ads. Maybe they're just getting lucky. I'm not sure, but the, the fact of the matter is there is no designs like this out there, at least not on Amazon. I tried to look on other marketplaces as well. I could hardly find anything in the same sort of style and it is trending very much. So definitely one worth checking out for some immediate sales. Moving on to niche number four, we've got childhood cancer awareness. This is a topic that's trending a lot this month because it is childhood cancer awareness month and the overall theme of designs is gold. Now with the word gold I would be careful because there's actually a, a little mention in the content policy uh, or in the guidelines of Merch by Amazon that you shouldn't use words like gold in your listing. If you want to create designs for this niche you can still make them without gold in there. Like there's these ones for example, let's make childhood cancer extinct. That doesn't have any mention of gold. Uh, Mom of a warrior and uh, I'm pretty sure if you don't use the word gold in your listing then you should be fine. There is a lot of designs that literally say in September we were gold and they're doing well but I would be careful with those as they might get you some rejections. And niche number five is Mexico or in this case I typed in Mexican because you get slightly different results. This is trending right now and it's going to be trending for about a week because it is Mexican Independence Day on September the 16th. So lots of people will want to be sort of patriotic by wearing Mexican t-shirt designs. Um, I like these messy hair bun style ones with the Mexican flag and the glasses. That's pretty cool to, to aim it more at just women. Maybe you could do a variation for men as well with like a, a bearded guy. Uh, that might be a good idea. A lot of Mexican flags, obviously. So green, white, and red is your color scheme to go with. Don't just upload the, the Mexican flag on its own. That's probably going to be very hard to get sales that way. Um, but if you come up with a cool, unique idea that has less competition, then you've definitely got some chance for this trending topic. And moving on to the red bubble trends, we've got due to the economy, this is my Halloween costume, which I think is a funny sub niche for Halloween that could do really well throughout the next few weeks. And it's already trending extremely well on Redbubble. This is actually the search phrase with the biggest jump in popularity over the past week. So it's definitely worth considering. we have seen a 7,600 point increase in popularity and it's now in the 451st place. And once again, we're still a month and a half away from Halloween and it's already that high up in terms of popularity. So this is definitely more to consider. Obviously a joke on the fact that uh, the economy is uh, in, a, in a downwards trend and sort of saying that you can't afford more than a, a bit of a t-shirt for your Halloween costume rather than going all out and actually putting in the work to, to create a proper costume, right? So here we basically see lots of different designs, uh, some just text-based, some are cross-niched with uh, animals, or so we've got some Halloween graphics, we've got ghosts in this one. And yeah, judging from the first page of results right here, there's tons of different design styles typically text-based crossed with a few simple Halloween graphics so I'm sure there's lots of ways you can approach this to pick up some sales for this trending sub niche of Halloween. Next up we've got understand that we always need women which has seen a 4520 point jump in popularity and it's in the 1039th position so a decent niche with a decently low results as well and what is quite surprising looking at these first few rows of results is that there's tons of t-shirts with a white color selected as standard or just a light one in general like we've got the light sort of brown right here light gray which is interesting usually it's uh, the other way around where you see more black rather than white but uh, maybe this poses the opportunity to create some designs for black backgrounds or maybe a different light color that you don't see much here like a light blue maybe could be an opportunity but it's definitely an interesting niche to consider and there seems to be a lot of just text-based simple designs that work so uh, if your design skills aren't that advanced maybe this is a niche that you would want to enter 
And moving on from that, we've got Society has a distorted perception of beauty, which has seen not a very big jump, only 100 points in popularity, but it's still trending in the fact that it is in the 467th place in terms of most search for tags or search phrases on Red Bull right now, which is really, really good. And uh, yeah, so this one, once again, lots of text-based stuff, and we see the rainbow theme as well. So definitely a color theme to consider. And I'm sure you can improve on some of the results that we see right here like this one is quite hard to read this one is hard to read the font right here is extremely thin which once again hard to read and probably doesn't print very well so uh, your competition is only sort of average in terms of how well these are designed um, i'm pretty sure some of you can can create some better text-based stuff right here and uh, maybe also use some some more rainbow graphics like some of the top sellers up here that might be a way to stand out along these ones that are literally only text with a bit of color variation i hope you enjoyed this episode episode of trending niches and whilst entering trends is uh, very good for getting some immediate sales if you're stuck in tier 10 for example it is also very important to enter some evergreen niches to get sales consistently all year around and that's why you would massively benefit from watching this video next where I share 101 profitable evergreen niches with you along with tips of how to enter them